Hi, it's Vicky here with a different type of video. Last weekend I visited Version Scrap, which is a craft show in Paris. So here is a quick tour of the Paper Archie booth. I attend such uh, craft shows often, so if you like these kind of videos, showcasing companies that I like, let me know in the comments below and I can share from time to time. This is a, a, a sample made with one of Paper Arts' latest releases. Um, this is a brand new product called Infusions. There are 12 different colours in the range and basically it's a powder in a bottle. There are two types of powders in there. One is the colour along with a brown crystal as well. So basically they are dyes and they are reactive with water. So. You just spritz your card with water and shake on the product and they dissolve and blend out to create lovely backgrounds. This is Paper Arts' fresco finish range of chalk acrylic paints. Um, there are water soluble paints, um, but superb colours, an amazing range of colours. Uh, a lot of thought has been put into the, the colours that are in this range. There are families of colours. So for every colourway, there is a light, medium, a dark and a super dark colour. So you have light, medium, dark, super dark. Um, some of the paints are opaque, some are translucent and some are semi-opaque, which makes it very versatile for making lots of layers when you're creating collages. There are also um, six glazes in this range. There's metallic, which has uh, a lot of sparkle to it. There's uh, satin glaze, there's gloss glaze, there's matte glaze, metallic glaze, and a crackle glaze, which creates a really cool crackle effect. Um, recently, there's two new additions. There's a frosting glaze, which can be used on glass or plastic or acetate to create a frosted look and also a retarder which is a product that slows down the drying time to enable you to do a lot of blending of colours. These are stamps from three different designers. Um, the first one is Kim Dello from, on the left, the centre one is Claire Lloyd and on the right are beautiful stamps from Kay Carley. The next range is from Emma Godfrey. She has a selection of stamps. She's got some mini stamps at the top and uh, four new releases on the next row. And um, we've specifically done some of her stamps in French for the show here at Version Scrap. And below that are also some stencils designed by Emma Godfrey. And they're all designed to work together. These stamps are by um, Jo Firth Young and this is probably the, the biggest range of stamps that Paper Artsy have. I believe there are 44 large plates of stamps in this range. Um, she's got mini stamps, she's got the, the regular A5 size and she also has stencils. This range of stamps are uh, called Hot Picks and they are designed by Mark Franich, uh, the owner of Paper Artsy. It's a very artsy range of stamps but that is kind of how they, they started their business, producing stamps of this genre. They range from um, floral stamps um, to more artsy ones with clocks and keys and doorways. Then there are some more fun things with quirky characters but all very, very useful stamps and very, very popular. This range of stamps is by Lynn Brown and she has a, a selection of different styles. Some of them are floral stamps. There are quite a few plates of stamps with sayings and quotes on, which are extremely popular. There are um, many stencils that work hand in hand with the stamps. They've been designed to work side by side and there are also some stamps that match dyes. Um, we've got stamps of um, houses and birds and tropical flowers which were all influenced by a, a Caribbean holiday. <laughs> this is a, a range of stamps by a lady called Darcy Wilkinson and she has quite a quirky style. It's a very fun style but also influenced by steampunk. She likes to use all of the, the steampunk influences of little nuts and bolts and if you look closely at some of the drawings you'll, you'll notice those little items popping up in odd things like flowers and crazy birds. 
there's also a range of stencils that uh, work hand in hand with Darcy's range. So it, it's quite a fun range to work with. These are Paper Arts' mini stamps and you can see from the back that they are single stamps. They're all trimmed and mounted on easy mount ready for you to use on an acrylic block. They're very, very popular and there's many in the range. Um, they range from background stamps like these to focal images like these. These, this range of stamps is by um, an, an American lady called Sarah Newman and she has designed many stamps with journaling in mind. So there are lots of quotes on, on her stamps and lots of mark making images as well as some focal images. She's also designed some stencils to work hand in hand and as I mentioned before it's all with journaling in mind. So that was a quick tour on the Paper Artsy booth, showcasing some of their amazing products. I think that uh, they are great for uh, card making, but also perfect for mixed media projects. So if you need uh, more inspiration, here is a video that you can click and see how I used some of the products that I got from their booth. Thank you all for watching!